The Office of Civil Defense has issued the following message. This is an attack warning. All broadcast stations shall broadcast emergency action Sorry. notification All message number two, now. red card. Call Hello, YouTube preppers. This is the Comms Prepper. Well, we made it through the holiday season. Hope you guys had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Finally getting around to making videos again. And today's video is about Argent Data's data radio. I've used this radio in the past demonstrating slow scan TV, but I finally got around to making the cable so I can actually use it for what I purchased it for, and that was to have a radio dedicated for packet radio communications. And I've showed packet communications on previous videos, and when I did that I had to use my Kenwood 2 meter mobile up here, but while doing that I didn't have a radio dedicated for voice operations. So the plan is to add a second antenna and dedicate this radio here for packet communications and radio email only. So like I said I made the cable last night and it's connected to the TNCX modem here and I've done several videos on this modem. Really good modem. I'm very happy with it. I have two of them. And on the side I have of course the famous ocean radio dialed up for the packet frequency I'm going to use so you can actually hear the tones when I demonstrate this. And this radio will run on 9 to 15 volts and I have it connected to a sealed battery from Home Depot here. That's a 12 volt battery. Then if needed I could charge up with solar power and it'll probably run all day if I have the radio set for one or two watts on that one battery. I get, of course I have it connected to the external antenna here at the homestead. I have a SO239 to BNC adapters. The radio has a BNC connector. The inputs here on the radio go through a DB9 connection that includes power and of course signaling. And this is all programmable so there's no other external switches or knobs. And you can get the software for free from Argent Data and I'll put the link down below to program up the channels. And what you do to change channel is you pop this cover off. There's four screws and there's dip switches inside. So you can put multiple frequencies in. To change frequency you gotta pop the cover off and set the dip switches. So up here on the screen, of course, I have RMS Express application up and running. And we'll go ahead and open the session here. And we'll make a connection from here in Virginia across the Potomac to Maryland to demonstrate how this little radio works. And that's the ocean radio you're hearing there. And you can see the connections taking place. And right now I'm only running 5 watts going about 35 miles with an external antenna on the roof and I had no messages outbound and there was no traffic waiting for me inbound. So if you're looking to add data communications to your emergency communications plan and you have limited radio resources and you don't want to tie up a radio that you could use for voice operations for digital communications you can go ahead and look at Argent Data's data radio here. It's a pretty nice radio. I think they're about 130 bucks on their website and I've had this about a year and a half and I've been pretty hard on it and it seems to have held up quite well. Uh, the software is very easy to operate. Again, it's full 5 watts out so you get in a fully functional radio. Now, the only complaint I would have with this radio right now is it doesn't have PL or DPL for coded squelch at this time, but maybe future models will. So just a short video on the data radio. It's uh, What we're going to do here in the shack is dedicate this one radio for digital communications and then we'll free up the other radio for voice and as always thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel this has been the comms prepper with a video about Argent Data's data radio bye guys and happy new year